Hi, I'm psychology professor Bruce Heinrichs. In this video, I'm going to tell you about chromosome abnormalities. Now, typically, human beings inherit 46 chromosomes, 23 from mom and 23 from dad. But occasionally, a mistake happens and a person gets the wrong number of chromosomes. That's called a chromosome abnormality. It doesn't mean that the chromosomes are abnormal. It means you have the wrong number. So I'm just going to give you a little introduction to that in this video. From our biological parents, we inherit chromosomes. We get 46 chromosomes, 23 from mom, 23 from dad. On the chromosome are carried the genes. Uh, genes are made of DNA, uh, and they have a certain sequence of chemicals that acts like a, a recipe for how the cells will work in your body. So typically, a human, normal human, has 46 chromosomes, but sometimes mistakes happen in the selection of the chromosomes into the sperm cell or into the egg, uh, and you get the wrong number of chromosomes. And I'm going to talk about chromosome abnormalities, the wrong number of chromosomes in this video. Of course, there are lots of jokes about genetics and heredity. Here's a couple of cartoons. On the left, the nightclub uh, bouncers are standing outside and saying to the uh, DNA molecule, sorry, mate, no genes and no genes allowed. And then on the right, we have the Genetic Research Institute. Darling, we were made for each other. Yes, made for each other at the Genetic Research Institute. We use the word genotype to refer to the genetic recipe that you inherit. We use the word phenotype mean your actual physical features. So for example, I have hazel colored eyes. That's my phenotype, color of my eyes. But I'm carrying a gene for blue eyes that I got from my father because he had blue eyes. So I know I'm carrying a gene in my genotype. I have the, the recipe for blue eyes and could pass that on to my offspring. So genotype and phenotype are not always the same thing. There was a jazz musician named Billy Tipton, and when he died in 1989, it was discovered that he was a woman. He had lived his life as a man, although he was born Dorothy Tipton in 1914. At the age of 19, he started living uh, as a man. Uh, we don't know why, but uh, maybe it was uh, to fit into the jazz music world, because in high school, uh, Dorothy Tipton was not allowed to join the jazz band because they didn't let girls in the band. Anyway, this shows a good example of phenotype versus genotype, uh, but it is not a case of uh, chromosome abnormalities. As you have learned, a normal uh, human has 46 chromosomes, 23 from mom, 23 from dad, these are thought of as pairs of chromosomes because you get like chromosome number one from mom, chromosome number one from dad. So you have a pair. So we, we say 23 pairs. That's 46 altogether. But occasionally mistakes happen. Sometimes the egg or sometimes the sperm does not have 23 chromosomes in it. The process of selecting the chromosomes is called meiosis. Meiosis. And sometimes a mistake happens in meiosis and the wrong number of chromosomes get into an egg or into a sperm cell. Like instead of 23, you could have 22 or you could have 24. Most of the time when these mistakes happen, the, uh, the uh, zygote does not develop. But once in a while it does. So once in a while the errors are not big enough, are not significant enough to cause death and development goes right ahead. And so a person develops who has the wrong number of chromosomes. So when we have this condition, the name of it is chromosome abnormality. Now that name sounds like there's something abnormal about the chromosomes. That's, that's not what the name means. But when we say a chromosome abnormality, we mean that a person has the, a different number of chromosomes than 46. And the most common of these is called Down syndrome. It's named after a doctor. His name was Down, who described the different um, symptoms, the different uh, conditions related to Down syndrome. 
the most common by far, 99% of the cases of Down syndrome are trisomy 21, trisomy, three chromosomes, 21. 21 means the, of the autosomes, one through 22 are, are listed in, in terms of size. So the next to the smallest pair of chromosomes, this person has three instead of two. So they got an extra chromosome 21, either from the egg or the sperm. Usually it's from the egg because there's so many sperm cells, it's unlikely that one carrying an extra chromosome 21 would make it into, would fertilize the egg. But the egg, if it's got an extra chromosome in it, there's just usually just one egg sitting there ready to be fertilized. Uh, this mistake is more likely to happen when people get older. When people get older, the body changes and it ages and uh, the process of meiosis, the selecting out of the chromosomes gets affected because the chromosomes get stickier and they stick together. So uh, when you're older, it's more likely that this will happen. However, uh, older people, 40 years old, don't usually have babies. Uh, so, you know, many, many more people in their 20s have babies than people in their 40s. So, of course, m most people with Down syndrome have parents who are in their 20s, even though the risk is greater when people get older. Now, a second chromosome abnormality is called Klinefelter syndrome, again, named after a doctor. In Klinefelter syndrome, again, there's an extra chromosome. So just like Down syndrome, a mistake in meiosis results in an extra chromosome. Instead of 23 chromosomes in the egg or the sperm cell, there's 24. And so you get a total of 47, just like with Down syndrome, you have a total 47 chromosomes instead of 46. But in Klinefelter syndrome, the extra chromosome is a sex chromosome. So this person is interesting because they have two X chromosomes, which is the recipe to be female, and they have an X and a Y chromosome, which is the recipe to be male. So this person will have some female characteristics and some male characteristics. This is another example of what we call intersex, a person who is somewhere in between male and female. Some people with Klinefelter syndrome uh, have a female brain and live their lives as females. Some have a male brain and live their lives as males. And then the third example I'm giving here of a chromosome abnormality is called Turner syndrome. Uh, Turner syndrome only happens to girls because this is a case where a chromosome is missing. So in Turner syndrome, the girl only has 45 chromosomes instead of 46. So we represent that by X zero. What's missing is a sex chromosome. So this person only has one X chromosome. This person will be very, very feminine because they have very, very low levels of testosterone. And so very, very feminine. And they have certain physical uh, symptoms also, which I will uh, show you in another slide. Here are some photos of kids with Down syndrome. You've probably seen kids with Down syndrome on TV shows or in movies. Uh, so kids with Down syndrome can live really good lives nowadays. In the past, they had so many physical problems that they they had a high fatality rate. They would die fairly young. Now people with Down syndrome can live into old age because of medical advances. Um, kids with Down syndrome have certain physical features uh, because what is the cause? Uh, well, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's an extra chromosome number 21. So that's called trisomy 21. Uh, here in this slide, I'm showing the karyotype, the, the set of chromosomes for a person with Down syndrome. You can see the sex chromosomes, two X's. So that means that's the recipe for a girl. But if you look at chromosome number 21, there's three instead of two. So an extra one got in through to the egg or the uh, sperm cell. Here is the karyotype, the set of chromosomes for a person with Klinefelter syndrome. Klinefelter syndrome is interesting because just like in Down syndrome, this person has an extra chromosome, but the extra chromosome is a sex chromosome. So this person has two X chromosomes. That's the recipe for female, but also has a Y chromosome, the recipe for male. So this person has some male and some female characteristics. This is an intersex condition. 
Here's another slide about Klinefelter syndrome, the way that a uh, medical record would indicate Klinefelter syndrome. Uh, I'm showing you here, look on the upper right, 47 comma XXY. So that means 47 chromosomes instead of 46. XXY, there's the extra sex chromosome. Uh, so people with Klinefelter's might live as male, they might live as female. Here's a picture uh, showing a person as a, a living as a male. And here in this slide is an example of Klinefelter with uh, a person living as a woman. Uh, so how, how, what determines if a person's gender is going to be male or female? Well, there's many factors involved, but the primary one, like 90%, is the amount of testosterone that is present at a certain critical moment when a certain part of the hypothalamus is developing prenatally. So this means uh, that that starts at about six to eight weeks after fertilization. So very, very early in uh, pregnant uh, pregnancy, very early in prenatal development, the, the brain is developing, the hypothalamus is developing, and that development continues uh, throughout birth and even uh, in early childhood. So the hypothalamus is developing and the presence of testosterone masculinizes it. So that makes a person have a, a male gender identity. Uh, but in this case, for this woman, uh, Carolyn Kosi, uh, she has three X chromosomes and only one Y chromosome. So that's a very extreme case of Klinefelter syndrome. Uh, and uh, she is living as female. This slide is about Turner syndrome. Uh, Turner syndrome is uh, is identified on a medical records as 45 comma X zero. Uh, 45 means total of 45 chromosomes. You're supposed to have 46 chromosomes. This person only has 45. Uh, and the reason is they only have one X chromosome. They only have one sex chromosome. So of course, this is always girls. There's no Y chromosome. This person has very, very uh, little small amounts of testosterone, so they're very feminine. They also have certain physical features. You'll notice the the widening of the neck, and there's there's other physical features that are associated with Turner syndrome. This person is usually uh, very very short. Um, so that's another uh, chromosome abnormality. There are many other chromosome abnormalities. You don't need to memorize them all because they're Number one, there's just many, many of them. Number two, they're, they're usually quite rare, but I do want you to be aware uh, that there are many different types of chromosome abnormalities that occur. For example, there are many different trisomies. Trisomy 21, which is called Down syndrome, is by far the most common, but there's also Edwards syndrome, which is a trisomy 18, and Patau syndrome, which is a, tr a trisomy 13. These are rare, and they're very serious conditions in which, which the children often die uh, very young from these disorders. Uh, when you have these kind of trisomies, usually they affect all the cells of the body, but once in a while, uh, the trisomy is partial, and sometimes it's what's called a mosaic, that some cells of the body will have the trisomy and some don't. Another thing that can happen is pieces of chromosomes can break off and attach someplace else or sometimes be completely missing. So there are a number of different conditions. I'm just indicating one here. It's called uh, cri du chat. Cri du chat is a French term that means the cry of the cat because these children, they, they cry and they scream. It sounds like a, a cat crying. Uh, the cri du chat is uh, caused by a, a piece of chromosome number five is broken off and has gone missing. So there are many, many different kind of chromosome mistakes, errors that can happen. These are not inherited. There's, parents don't pass on a gene, but rather something goes wrong in the process of meiosis. So it's a genetic biological error that occurs in choosing, in selecting out the chromosomes that go into the egg or the sperm. Uh, you don't need to memorize all of these, but you should know about Down syndrome and Klinefelter syndrome and Turner syndrome as really good examples of the many, many different kinds of chromosome errors that occur. Okay, thanks for watching my video on chromosome abnormalities. 
and uh, check out my other videos. My channel is called Brucey. Become a subscriber to my channel, then you can see all my videos. Bye.